Hello and welcome to the Year R Welcome Meeting. In staff this class, there'll be myself, Mrs Conlon, the class teacher, working with Mrs Aquilina, and then on a Wednesday, Mrs Lavery will be with us. On a Friday, we have Mrs Atkins, who covers PPA. In Seymour's class, we have me, Miss Deacon, the class teacher. Mrs King works with us Monday to Thursday. Mrs Lavery will be our LSA on the Friday when Mrs King's not in. And Mrs Kisson is our PPA cover on the Friday. In the school bags, we expect you to have your home learning diary along with your child's wallet with sounds and high frequency words and number flashcards, which will be given out in due course. We also expect the reading book we provide and a coat labelled and a water bottle. In the water bottle we do expect water only please and all items of clothing that ch your child brings in please name them all. So this is a little bit what our school day will look like. You'll drop off in the South Playground in the morning. Children will come inside and choose their lunch and they'll partake in a little activity which we call funky fingers which uses some fine motor things to get their hands moving. And we'll then have a teaching lesson, maybe it's maths or English, something like that. Children will then have discovery time through to snack. We'll start for snack and milk all together, make sure they wash their hands and we'll listen to a story. And we'll have another teaching um, before they transfer into discovery time. Just before lunch, we'll start for busy bodies, which is our gross motor development. So just to keep children moving throughout the day. And then lunch time. After lunch, we'll do phonics and then back into discovery. And at the end of the day, we'll stop for a story time or a little family time to talk about our day or anything that children would like to share. And then it will be home time where you will collect from the North Coast South Coast playground. So some information about PE, it will alternate each week. So one week it will be Thursday and the next week it will be Tuesday. A letter has gone out about this, so you're aware of the dates that are coming up. Um, children will be asked to come in with their PE kit on, but please can it all be named just in case anything does get taken off and goes astray. Um, they will not be allowed to wear earrings for PE, so we ask if you provide the micropore tape that you can cover their earrings with or take them out in the morning so they don't have them in at all. Also, all their hair, girls' hair particularly to be tied up, please, just for safety. And if it is cold, we are allowing children to wear long jogging bottoms that need to be black and they can wear a jumper or a cardigan which is their school one if it, if it is exceptionally cold outside. So next up how can you support us at home? Now when we teach uh, phonics we'll be teaching um, off the programs letters and sounds. We'll teach the child um, a new sound every single day. These sounds will then be in their book bag as and when we learn them. When we do writing at school, we do non-cursive. This really allows children to focus on those letter shapes. And in a zippy wallet, they will also have their super six words. So this is um, high frequency words, so words they'll come across a lot of the time when they're reading and also tricky words. And these words, they need to be learnt by sight, they'll be on the red little cards. Um, we will change them when we feel the children are confident with recognising these and we will sort of see where, how they're going every week with this. We'll be given a lilac book and these will encourage your child to make up a story because there are no words, it's just got pictures. Um, ask your child questions about what they can see is happening in the pictures and why they think this might be happening. And as we move towards Christmas, children will be given books that contain simple words. This is because we have, by that point, we would have taught more of the phonics. Um, and these books will be giving out according to your child's ability for reading. We ask that you read with your child every day. This includes their school book and a bedtime story you may choose to read. Um, we encourage counting in all aspects of life. So this could be things like counting their grapes into their snacks or all counting the wooden blocks and they're building a tower. Number recognition, um, they will have little number cards in their book bags, um, but if you're going out for a walk, maybe you could achieve this by looking at house numbers or looking at number plates of cars. Um, so, and, and if you choose to use the number cards, try and incorporate into their play as much as they can, as much as you can, to order them and recognise them, rather than always sitting them down um, at a table and then having to do it rote all the way. 
So this is a little bit about the importance of daily reading. So not only is it important that the children read to you daily, but you should also read to your child as well, just so they experience new vocabulary and vital life lessons from different stories that you might come across. And it will help them also with their communication and language development. To support you with good books to read with your children, we have devised a list of key reads, and this has gone home with you in their book bag already. Um, please read the books that we recommend with your child, as some of them do link with our topic that we'll be covering. Um, the children in year one will give, get the opportunity to take home a library book each week and our library day is on a Wednesday so on that day please ensure the library book that they have give, they have chosen comes back into their book bag so they can change it and get a new one. This slide is a plea really from you um, to, to, to volunteer at school if you could. Um, it's really important that we have volunteers in school particularly when it comes to school trips. Um, if we don't have enough volunteers sometimes school trips can't happen it's so important that we have enough adults to keep our children safe it's really easy to do if you're interested just pop to the office um, and they will need to put you forward for a dbs check and once that comes in you'll be able to help us out this is about tapestry which is what we predominantly use in early years to record observations of your children and show a lovely learning journey um, please allow these notifications on Tapestry as we do include posts about any key learning that we may need you to do at home to support them in, within school. In early years, it is really important to have a strong home link connection and communication just so if there's anything that is going on at home that we should be aware of, we can offer that support both at school and at home. These are just a few dates for your diary. This is obviously all provisional, depending on the coronavirus pandemic. Now, our first trip is a walk to Waterlooville Library. Um, we will need volunteers for this. So when you get your letter to explain the walk, um, if you could just reply on the bottom to let us know if you would be willing to walk with us. And like I said before, the office will do a DBS check for you. Um, just a little reminder, we do have an inset day this half term, which is Friday the 2nd of October. And just a final notice, please check your child's book bag daily as many letters go home and it might be it will be relevant information about your child's learning. If you do have any messages that you'd like us to know, please write them in your child's diary and ask them to hand it to us in the morning. Um, this then means we don't have to check book bags all the time and miss something. So if we know they've got a note, hand it to us and we can respond to it straight away. Last slide. Really big thank you for getting into this video. We really look forward to meeting you all as the year goes on. We do have an open door policy, so please speak to us um, at the end of each day if you need to. Now, obviously, due to coronavirus, if you can't get to us at the gate, then um, please phone or email the office and they will pass it on to us and we will get back to you as soon as we possibly can. We want you to contact us with any queries or questions that you might have. Um, the email address and the phone number for the office is um, on this slide for you for reference. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.